Last week we spoke about the false prophet. The false prophet was the one who came out of the land and he was like a lamb with two horns but spoke blasphemy. And we said the false prophet, um, there was four things that he needed to do. One was the purpose of the false prophet, the timing of the false prophet, the powers of the false prophet, and then the identity of the false prophet. We spoke about the first three, and the last one is the identity, which is today. Now, the purpose of the false prophet, we find it in Revelation 13, uh, verse 12. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wounds was healed. So his purpose, to exercise all the authority um, all the authority of the first beast which came out of the sea that had seven heads and ten horns now the timing we said it's not on the screen the timing we said the false prophet will appear uh, at the time of the slaining of the seventh head and the healing of the wound and the seventh head, we said it was Great Britain. So at the slaining of the seventh head, Great Britain, Great Britain fell at the end of World War II in 1945. So the end of World War II in 1945 was the end of the British Empire. The head, the seventh head was slain. But the Holy Bible says that wound was healed later on. So between the slaining and the healing, the timing of the false prophet surfaces into our time and age. Now, the powers of the false prophet, he was able to do three powers. Number one, and we find this in again Revelation 13 and um, verse 13. He performs great signs he brings fire from heaven in the presence of men. That's the number one, brings fire from heaven. Number two, he forces people on earth to make an image of the first beast, the seven heads and the ten horns that came out of the sea. He forces people on earth to make an image of the first beast and he breathes into this image where it becomes alive. And we spoke about this breath, Noma which comes from the Greek word which is to do with the soul or the spirit of a human, not animation, real spirit, where this image becomes alive like a human being. That was the second power. And he makes all the people on the earth whose names are writ not written in the book of life to worship this image which he breathed into and made it alive. And number three, he will put a mark either on the, on the hand or the forehead where no one can buy and sell. And this mark is a number of a man and it is 666. We spoke in depth last week. Yes? So now we said fire from heaven, nuclear warheads. This is military power. So the, the actual job of the false prophet is to come up with military power that it is like fire coming from heaven and here he is talking about nuclear war world war three nuclear warheads in world war three this is fire coming down from heaven the image which he caused the people to make of the first beast and then he breathed into it the breath of like became alive and forced everyone to worship it, those whose names are not written in the book of life, that image that became alive is technology, TV, internet, Facebook, TikTok, wick walk, knock knock, the whole lot, the whole lot, technology. And hasn't he made people to worship technology? My goodness, you look nowadays at technology, and we spoke about this, I don't wanna repeat what we said, but people are worshiping that Facebook and that Instagram and that TikTok and that YouTube. They are worshiping technology. And Satan has brought into these channels 
things that are so evil evil filth filth and the last one the mark 666 either on the hand or the forehead this is banking system if you have military power if you have technology and if you have banking system you can control the world all of them together a superpower nowadays is known to have the most powerful military the most powerful technology and the most powerful banking system if that superpower has the three together they can enslave everyone on the face of this earth and this is what is happening exactly in our time and age <laughs> oh my goodness the church is still asleep <laughs>